Hello, my name is Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation today. Today we are going to discuss on how to come up with a reinforced structural model from an, an architectural plan like this generated or done in Chief Architect X7. Now this can be imported to, to Tecla structure through IFC file extension or the best way to import it we can convert this to PDF then uh, import it into Tecla structure. Now what we are going to do we are going to convert this plan into PDF then from there we are going to open Tecla structure and import the PDF plan of this of this model to tackle structure okay let's have uh, an overview a closer look of this model let's have a full view of the whole model first of all before we proceed this is the the building that we are going to have create a structural model for this building so we'll have a step by step structural modeling for this whole building till we come to the end of it this is it This one just a background image. This is the entry. Our staircase will be placed in that hall. Okay. There we are. We go to plan. This is our ground floor. Now, this has been already converted in, into PDF. We'll, our PDF is here. Already converted. This is our PDF. So we will import this into Tecla structure and put our columns and structural reinforcement for all for the whole building. Okay, we'll go ahead and close that and go to Tecla structure. After importing that, we'll come up with something similar to this. Not similar, something actually that looks like this. There you are. Now we want to import our PDF plan. We'll go to import insert PDF, insert PDF document. This dialog box will come up, insert PDF reference model. We'll browse to that file. File is here. Okay. You can place it there. There you are. So this is the imported plan for that uh, building of five floors. Now out of this,
we will scale this to 200, 1 to 200. Modify that, expand. Close that. We don't need any obstruction anymore. Click on the, on the on, on the model. Right click. Try to copy this from a corner like this. Copy that. Maybe you can place this here. The drawing looks busy, but this is just on an overview of how this came about. Now, out of this, you will be able to, to, to generate your grid along all this. Once that has been done, you will place your footing, like, we, like I did here. actually place all this instead of that you go to plan that now we will delete that we will delete this. We have this now. Now from this, our columns sizes let just go through the columns. Our column sizes is 400 by 400, but this can be adjusted. You can adjust this to maybe 300. Maybe that. Or you can rotate this from top. back take that back to 400 apply we have something like this let's right click on that fit into our whole model Okay, and continue, we'll continue on part two with the same, same model. Thank you for watching.